Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to be showing how you can take your GoPro videos and combine them into one video clip, which you can then share with your friends or post to YouTube. What I've got open here is I've got a file folder with the video clips that I've taken that I want to make into a movie, as well as Adobe Premiere Elements 11. So this is a software that I would recommend you use to um, to make your videos out of. It's, it is a paid software. It's about $100, just under $100. Uh, if you're not sure if you're going to like it or not, the website does have a free trial. I think you get about a 30-day free trial with it, but um, there's not really any good free video editing software, so find one that you like. Uh, this is the one that I've used. Uh, it's pretty good. It has a lot of advanced features, and it's um, pretty easy to learn how to use. So our first step in it, um, I'd always recommend using the expert mode here at the top. You can use the quick mode, which is doesn't have that many features, but I'd recommend using expert mode. You get a proper timeline at the bottom, and then the features and how you learn to use this will translate very well into um, higher-end softwares if you ever decide to take your editing to another level with um, a higher-level software. So we'll go ahead, and we've got our file folder, our video clips here, so we'll go just import them into um, Premiere Elements. Just drag them on to the, um, just drag them in, and then we can just get rid of the file folders, don't need them anymore. Now down here on the timeline, it's automatically placed all the video clips on the timeline. Now the problem with this is, I don't need all the video clips. You can see this is a nine minute movie, and that's going to be pretty boring, because lots of these clips are long, and there's not that much interesting going on on in them. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually delete all of these from a timeline so I can start fresh and what you'll notice has happened up here is all the video files we've imported have been um, placed in this little media browser up here. So this is where we're going to choose our files from and we can also set the in point and out point on each of the video clips so we only get um, the part of the video clip that we want. So we'll start with the first one if we double click on it, it opens up a little window where we can preview what it looks like. Let's make it bigger here. So most, most GoPro videos, the first one is someone turning the camera on. And then I want you can scroll on the bottom here. You can see this is mounted on the paddle handle. It's a pretty cool view, but it's um it's very shaky, so you can't stand out for very long, otherwise the person watching is gonna get seasick. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get one paddle stroke. I'm gonna start about here. I'll hit set in, I'll get a paddle stroke, and then I'll set the out point, and then I can just go ahead and if I drag this onto the timeline now, and zoom in, you can see that only that one second clip that I selected has been imported instead of the whole um, four minute movie. So if we go to the next clip, we'll do the same thing. Now this one's upside down, so it'll take a little bit more editing to get this to work. I'll maybe come back to this in a bit. Um, I can do this one, and I'm not trying to do anything fancy here, I'm just trying to give you an idea of how these things work. So this is someone going by someone in their kayak, so maybe we'll take about five seconds of this, we'll set the end point, and then we'll stop there, and set the out point, and then we can drag this onto the timeline, and then we've got the next one, we'll go from maybe here, to there, and then go along, drag this down here, right there, and one thing that's kind of nice with the software is if you're not sure what clips you've imported or not, they have a little green dot here when they're um, be they've been imported into your timeline, and you're using them in your video, uh, and the ones that don't obviously have not been. So this is a great way if you you know what files you want to use, you've imported them into the project assets up here and then you can tell which ones you've included in your in your video edit and which ones you have not. We'll go with this one. We'll go from here. So maybe here. Set the out point and then import that there. And then over here in the uh, on top of the timeline, there's a little slider bar. Now this is your zoom, so you can either be zoomed right in to about um, like well the whole timeline is like two seconds, or you can zoom out. And it's just nice to keep. I like to keep my whole movie just about filling halfway of my timeline there. Um, 
There's one clip here I want to start at the beginning. This was the kayak being launched. This is a pretty cool shot. Uh, so it starts about here and it gets put in the water just like that. So I'm going to play it to there to the out point. Now I wanted this clip actually at the beginning of my movie to start it. So to do that, we're just going to take it, drag it right into the beginning, and it just will bump all the rest of the video clips out of the way. So you can see now this is my first clip. If at any point here I want to see how my movie's going, I can come over into my main screen, just click on Project Assets to make it go away, and then I just like to tap the space bar to uh, play, but if you don't want to do that, you just hit the play button down there. Now, of course, this I'm just trying to do this for um, for you guys to show you how I would go about editing this. It's a very quick edit, and there's not much thought process between how the clips are going together, but it gives you a rough idea of how you can um, quite quickly take some about 20 minutes of video and make it into maybe a 30-second clip that's going to be interesting for someone to watch instead of making them slog through all 30 minutes or 20 minutes of the video, which is going to be quite boring for them, and you're going to lose your audience attention very quickly. It's uh, way more cool for them to see 30 seconds that tells the whole story about what's going on. Um, when you're making these videos, guys, try to keep your video clips pretty short. Uh, 5 to 30 seconds is enough. 30 seconds is getting pretty long for uh, one clip. Try to cut the angles, cut between uh, angles regularly, and uh, always keep in mind what the, the story you're trying to tell is. So if you're trying to tell your paddling story, you should probably start with how you got there, launch the kayak, lots of guys do time lapses at the beginning of their videos, which is pretty cool. And then you have your story progress through what you're doing through the day, if you see anything cool, and then packing up and going home would be the end of it. So don't just throw random video clips together, kind of like what I did. Um, try to think through what video you've taken and how you can best um, make it into something that's kind of cohesive in one package when you're putting your clips together. Lots of stuff you can do with this. I'm not going to go into too much depth on it here. I just want to give you some of the tools to uh, of how you would edit your video clips and import them and export or and import them into the software. Once you've kind of got the rough idea of what you want, where you want it, um, there's another way you can trim the video clips a length here. So what I've been doing is importing only the section of the video clip I wanted. You can also come down. If I zoom in a little bit more here, it'll be easier. Let's say I thought this clip was too long and I want it to end here. I can simply click at the end of the video clip. My arrow changes to this little double arrow thing, and then I can just drag it back to the point where I want it to end. So again there, I would just click. I'll just find the end of the video clip, and then I'll just drag it to the point where I wanted it to, uh, to end. The same thing works at the beginning of the clips, like let's say uh, this one here is, let's say I thought this one was too short and I want to make it longer. Uh, this is like, I can just drag it longer and it'll bump the clips around it so that clip becomes longer. If you want to split a clip uh, into two pieces, like let's say I want this one, I want half, I want the first half here, but I want the second half at the end of the clip. You can click on this little scissor icon that comes up when you place your cursor and it will cut the clip into uh, two separate pieces and then I can simply click and drag this one to the end of my video clip and then there is a gap here but that can quickly be fixed by simply highlighting to select all three of these clips and then dragging them back so they bang on the first one. I don't really recommend using transitions between video clips. There's, of course, like most softwares, they include tons of them. Uh, it takes away from, from your video looking professional if you watch movies and stuff. There's never transitions between cuts in between angles, so stay away from them. If there's a point where it'll make a big difference and it'll be cool to use it, go ahead and add one in there, but generally as a rule of thumb, you just keep the transitions as cuts and uh, it just makes the video look more um, professional. Once you're done, So once you're done and you're happy with your video, and you've spent some time and you're really pleased with it, maybe you've added a soundtrack or something, you come up to Publish plus Share over here in the right-hand corner. If you try to export it, like many other softwares call it, you'll find that it's grayed out. That's because um, everything in from your uh, elements is moved now to Share, Publish, and Share. So 
So we click on Publish and Share, and then we select MPEG, and then the preset, you need to change the preset. If you use this preset, your video is going to look like crap. So select the 1080p at 29.97 frames per second if you shot your video at 29.9 frames per second, which if you're using the 30 frames per second setting or the 60 frames per setting, you're going to want to use this one. If you use something or if you're in Europe and you're using 24 frames per second, then export using 1080p at 24 frames per second. So 29 frames per second, name where you want it to go. Uh, and then save it as wherever you want it to be saved. Yeah, nothing underneath the advanced you need, and then just hit save. You'll get a uh, rendering thing. Now, depending on the length of your video and the speed of your computer, this can take a while. Uh, so don't be alarmed if it takes forever for the video to get saved. Once you're done, you can go ahead and open up that location in your computer and then you can see that our video has been rendered out exactly as you want it to be and um, all the cuts are in there this video will be perfect to upload to YouTube the file format would be well accepted so you won't lose much quality and uh, yeah that was how I would go about editing a video clip it was pretty quick and dirty the um, video we made isn't very good but at least it gives you an idea of how you can use Premiere Elements to import and then trim all your video clips the length you want and then put them together and rearrange them. Guys, video editing is a lot of fun. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. Have fun, experiment with it, and um, your results will be quite amazing. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, uh, make some awesome videos.